Hi guys and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. So as you can see our zombie army is hard at work and the day is already well underway because we woke up a bit late. Um, we need to be taking our beer to Witch Hill. Where is the beer? Oh uh, yeah, it's in the chest. Okay. So we need to take the spear up to Witch Hill and then tell the Inquisitor that we have set up his tent. And also, while we're speaking to the Inquisitor, we need to ask him about um, the favor for the Baron. Um, I believe the Baron said that a friend of his is being held captive, so we need to find out more about that. All right, here we are. Let us serve the beer. And let's tell the Inquisitor what we'll set up. Let's see. Um, oh, we need to be better friends with them before we can ask that, but we're about to be. But first, let's ask about the portal cards. Monsignor, do you think the guards here on Witch Hill are really necessary? I'm not sure, but the town is full of rumors. Someone has been seeking forbidden knowledge. Damn heretics, last time their dark rituals here on the mountain ended with a great blast. We can't be too careful about such things. I can look after the hill. I'll let you know if I see anyone come by. Your guard ambush is obvious a mile from oh. your guard ambush is obvious from a mile away. You're right. But are you worthy of this sacred trust? Oop, buddy. Uh okay. So we just need to finish the tent and we can get the rest unlocked. Good, the people are going to love this. And you'll probably earn a lot of money. Yes, Monsignor. You know at first I thought you were kind of shady, like you might be a problem. I had this strange feeling you didn't belong here. But now it seems like you blended in just fine. You do what you've been asked to do. And profit means everything to you. I believe there's a place for a person like you in our future world. In the world we're going to build in the town. The world of pure faith. Ha, one day, one day. The audience is gathering. Do your part well and I will do mine. Okay. Um, I can say everything's ready for the next burning. Let's check these other two first. I can prove I'm loyal. I'm sure I can show you that I can be trusted enough to look after Witch Hill. Indeed, perhaps one day I'll embrace you as an Inquisitor and apprentice. Meanwhile, I'll await your reports. Okay, cool. So we got rid of the guards. Can I ask you to release a gypsy woman? It is not in my rules to release someone, but this time I'll make an exception. Her friends have been making too much of a ruckus outside my headquarters. Oh, cool. But that's solved. Everything is ready for the next burning. Hmm, got a bit more of a crowd. Beer, fresh beer. Beer washes away all sins. Juicy burgers. Sweet as holy ecstasy. Don't ask where the meat comes from. I'll take two. This is the best burning I've ever been to. Mmm, that's tasty. Smoky meat. Haha. <laughs> the town will be talking for a month about today's burning. Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performance. Just get your tent ready and we'll be in our business. You earned 33 silver by selling beers and burgers. Hey, stop taking that faith with you. Give it here. <laughs> uh, it's always funny when they drag things around. Alright, so if we wanted to do this, yeah, we would have to keep making burgers. Beer, not really a problem. Burgers could be a challenge. Okay, nothing else to speak to him about. I think next, let us go speak to the Baron. All right, here we are. Your friend is free. I talked to the Lord Inquisitor. Your friend is free. I was right. He is your friend. So you're an important man around here. So tell me about Esmeralda. Where's your sister? Probably she's far, far away. They put her on a ship of the dead many years ago. But she had a child, didn't she? Yes, a daughter. Once she was a blessing to me, but now she is my shame. So she's alive? Yes, she's alive, but she betrayed her own people. She even betrayed the memory of her mother. What did she do? She sold her mother's last gift, disowned our legacy, and for what? Oh, Miss Charm is the astrologer's daughter. 
for lust, for impertinence. In the town, she's known as Miss Charm. We haven't spoken her real name for many years. Oh, the plot thickens. So, something else new I noticed when walking through town? It appears that this is our beautiful new tavern. You call this a tavern? Holy sod, it's an embarrassment. Uh-oh, Jerry has a difference of opinion. Where's the music maker? The gossip? The drinks? Where's the cool bartender? I'm considering various candidates right now and... Okay, you're helpless. I'll manage it instead of you. <laughs> Your task is to construct a wooden doll for a bartender and set a chip. Oh, fancy. You unlocked new technology and got a barman doll. Just go to your workbench and do it. Go, go. Save your questions for later. Sheesh. Okay, Jerry. Sure, we can do that. Alright, let's see what we need for this barman doll. Mm, where did he say to construct it? Ah, here it is. We need um, complex iron parts still. Okay. We're a bit low on these things, so I think we're gonna do um, simple iron parts first, and then we'll do some complex iron parts. Oh, short on energy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more complex iron parts to the queue over here. Then this dude, I know you're busy, but um, you'll be fine. Do this. Great. Thanks. See you guys in the morning. Alright, good morning everyone. Let us see. So, up next is to make the barman doll. And I think we're we're gonna have our zombie do that because we can. And this dude, he seems to be done. So we'll put him back here making pots. Before we go off to the astrologer, I want to do the quest we need to do for Donkey. So Donkey wanted us to send some apples via the contraband bin. And he also wanted us to make a cookbook for one of the rats. So let's go downstairs and do that. Whoop. As you can see, our brewery is coming along. We have our zombie winery and zombie uh, brewing station that still just need to be hammered away at. We can do that a little bit later. And then here we also have a zombie army hard at work. Yep, they're quite busy down here. Oh, we forgot about the body donkey dropped off. Damn. Let's first make this cookbook and then we'll go see what's going on down in the morgue. Okay, great. Got our cookbook. Okay, yeah, that body was laying there a little too long. I hope it wasn't a really good one. And now we've just wasted one of the white skulls. Ah, oh, damn, it would have been a good one. Okay, well, that's fine. We will just, you know, cut him up for parts and then cremate him. Accidents happen. Over here... Let's see, what are we... I think this guy is meant to be another zombie. I think that was his his purpose. Okay, we need zombie juice for that. Let's take him, let's put him on the rack over here. And then let's go ship that stuff for Donkey in the contraband box and then head over to the astrologer. So here we go, send cookbook, send five red apples. Okay, well, we've made Donkey happy, so off to the astrologer we go. Okay, so about Esmeralda's child. Esmeralda had a daughter. My daughter, where are they now? Esmeralda died many years ago, but her daughter is alive and well. I think you might even have heard of her. Her name is Miss Charm. Unbelievable, she's very talented. I saw her perform once. Or I'm afraid she'll never like, never accept me. I left before I left her mother before she was born, but I didn't know. I knew that it would break Esmeralda's heart, but it was all in the name of science. What a fool I am. Young man, you must test these waters for me. Speak with her. Find out what my chances are. Okay, do you promise to tell me where the golden angle is if I reunite you with your daughter? Definitely. I'll be so happy. Okay, great. Well, hopefully that's going to help us get to 60 points with the astrologer. Oh, we have a new quest coming up from Donkey. Receive the note the day after Donkey arrives. All right, well, Donkey dropped off a body, so let's head on home and let's go see 
What's going on over there? Okay, hopefully this body's gonna be a bit fresher. Not bad, I think. We can make this body pretty good, I think. Let's start off with glue injection. That'll give us plus one skull, plus one white skull. Then we need, um, let's see, what do we need? We need zombie juice. I think it's over here. Yep, let's make a few zombie juices. All right, we'll keep the zombie juice in here, keep things nice and orderly. Then, where is, okay, over here, I forgot where I put him. Here is our next zombie. Okay, cool, let's resurrect him. The red skulls don't matter for the zombies, only the white ones do. And right now I'm not making the most productive and efficient zombies, I just want to get my workforce going, because I think we can have a very large amount of zombies. And at a later point, um, I'll start sort of like, you know, um, throwing the bad ones in the river and swapping them out with, with better ones. But we've got plenty of time for that. Um, let's make some... Do we want some flavor enhancer, maybe? Hmm. We could have a make zombie juice. Yeah, I think that's pretty good use of time. We'll make just a couple flavor enhancers. And we'll have him make some zombie juice too. Okay, let's go collect the barman doll and then we'll head off to the tavern. Okay, it looks like something might have gone wrong over here. Let's see. It looks like he could... Okay, there we go. I had to collect the barman doll. Okay, put him over here. You, sir. You go back over there. What do you need? Okay, we're out of river sand. That's all right. We can figure that out later. Let's go over to the tavern. I see that um, the talking skull is actually a fast travel point. So that is going to be useful. Do we just put him there? Yeah. Clumsy work, but it's good enough. Yorick, it's your turn. Oh, Yorick. Yorick, are you sure it's a good idea? More complaints. Just think. He can work around the clock. He knows all the gossip and rumors. And he has 30 years of bartending experience before he poisoned himself with an expired cocktail. And most of all, he doesn't claim a salary. Who's the genius here? Mm, it makes sense. Talk to him. I'll be waiting for you in the local cellar. Okay. I greet the new bartender. But it'll be such a pleasure to work with you. No salary, no insurance, no vacations. Never. I'm on strike. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I guess he's gone. <laughs> Since you're such a skilled bartender, could you tell me a little about it? Of course, a tavern is like a defenseless flower. Yes. Your duty is to care for it and nurture it like your own child. You must remember this. There's a kitchen and a storage area in the cellar. Alcohol is stored on pallets. We sell alcohol off the pallets around the clock. We need to make sure it doesn't run out. Sounds reasonable. Customers like to buy alcohol and enjoy themselves, but they like quality taverns. So the higher the tavern's quality, the more customers you get. And the more customers, the more money. Oh, I'm already looking forward to the stupors, the wild screams, the drunken fights. It'll be marvelous. For starters, put some beer on the pallets. Okay, I think we can manage that. Oh, wow, look at this. Be nice. Okay. Hi, Jerry. About the machine. And now I should break the wall to get to the machine free? You read my mind, man. <laughs> okay. Well, let's first see. Are these the pallets for the beer? Yeah. Okay. Quickly, I'm going to go home and check on that body, and then we'll come back. Oh, uh, before we go inside, let's check this note from Donke. Oh, I thought I heard Donkey deliver a body, but I guess not. Does he have carrots? Oh, he's out of carrots. No, so we don't have a body. Okay, I've got some carrots here. So let's top up the spin. Okay, 
Okay, good stuff. Donkey has fresh carrots. Now, back to the tavern. Oh, I still need to read his note, I think. Revolutionary message. Use. Glory to the donkey people. One. The rat's chief can't read, but he enjoyed the pictures in your cookbook. So you ripped them out and ate them. Two. There weren't enough apples, so the donkeys fought over them. There were a lot of casualties, but they appreciated the effort. You have passed the first stage of learning the, earning the approval of the e Continue, and you'll receive stolen bank checks and pieces of jewelry via the box. Write and send apprisms about the harmfulness of money, and we'll put them in the letters instead of checks and jewelry. Also, send, sell the jewelry and send the money to us. This will aid us greatly in our endeavor. Pff, they just said money is harmful. Though you're right, money is harmful. Er, so you can keep the money for yourself and send us five faith. That we may maintain our trust in a bright future for donkeys. Let's keep our tails crossed. If the edop hock <laughs> How do we say that E-D-O-P-O-P -O -P won't pay me for my help? I'll put poison carrots <laughs> into their donkey box. Okay. Uh, new technology. Ephorisms about the evils of money. Okay. So let's see, yeah, that is our um, next task, um, about the beer on the pallets, I put beer on the pallets like you asked, good work, you have any questions? What's the bar with the stars behind you? It's our reputation bar, it fills up with every drop of alcohol you sell, completely filling the bar will give you a reputation star. A reputation star? What does that mean? It's simple, we just need reputation stars to hold events at the tavern. Why do we want to have events? Because it's fun. Events are the best way to entertain people and earn money. Look, one good event can bring in more revenue than a couple weeks without events. The thing is, you can sell a lot of food and alcohol at an event. Tell me more about food. The food needs to be suitable for the event. You can sell inappropriate food too, but you'll have to price it low, and even then people won't buy much. So how can I start an event? It's easy, easy, though you'll need reputation stars and advertising flyers and a little faith in yourself. Thank you, Yorick. See ya. Okay. I think that's all we need to know. Oh, look. People are coming in. And this over here. Okay. So we can build tab and table, cabinet with artifacts. And this would be the graveyard fest. We need one reputation star, five flyers, and some faith. Okay, cool. But we're gonna have to upgrade our tavern quality with some tables and then watch this thing fill up. So we should get our zombie brewery going. Okay, well it's almost time to do a sermon, but let's first hammer away at this wall a bit. Let's see what's going on behind here. There must be a button. Push it. Uh oh. There's a skeleton. Don't pay don't pay any attention. It's that inventor keeper. Do you know how to use this device? The old keeper even didn't ever let me get close. There must be instructions. There, I see them. Oh, he loved writing instructions. It works. We only need to put an artifact into this hole. And then we'll witness a scene from the far past. An artifact? This is getting complicated. There must be an itemized list of artifacts in the instructions. By the way, the wrong order of artifacts could cause an apocalypse. And here, he included a complete list. The old keeper already handed, handled most of the research. It says right here, the first is the statuette of the ancient god. And the machine says, let's look, the statuette's owner is Herodric. I'm totally confused. I'll put it more simply. Take the statuette from her Roderick and bring it here. And take care of the corpse. Who's the keeper here? Me or you? Got it. Okay, let's grab this body and quickly get it down to the morgue. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Ooh, pretty good body if you ask me. We can use a silver injection on that, so let's do that. This one over here. Let's see, you already did glue. Let's do... A silver injection next over here this one unfortunately started decaying so this is the one that we're going to be using for scraps 
All right, let's burn this baby and let's head on over to the church to conduct a sermon. <laughs> this game is pretty dark. As you can see, we've got a couple more graves and stuff going on here. Also, our church and our graveyard, I believe, yeah, it's at the quality that we needed. So, could the graveyard be any better? The graveyard is indeed well maintained. I can see all the love you've put into it. Have you had any problems with the Inquisition? Ghosts? Witches? I've had some problems. You know, that was a silly question. You're not in, in an Inquisition cell, so everything must be alright. Why do we even build these stupid ships of the dead? That's all. And all that talk about the walking dead. I'm sure they're just stories. Then the money could go to the church, not that stupid shipyard. Hmm, very interesting. Look how beautiful the church is. This is all local materials, except the silk for the benches. I bought that from my friend, the merchant. Ah, those merchants. Personally, I'd banish them from my kingdom. The whole lot of them. They are truly the distributors of sin. Merchants, actors, doctors. The church already provides everything they offer. Only holy and more righteous. Alright, I've seen enough. I'd say this church is ready to become a cathedral. Yay, but you still need to make a statue of me. As for now, that's your main priority. Certainly, your highness. Oh, I did make his marble statues. We just need to go home to collect them. First, let's quickly grab our prayer so we're ready to go. And then let's go on home and grab that statue for him. All right, here we are back. We have our three gold quality marble statues. Um, how do we give it to him? So about the cathedral, here we go. Here's the statues. Your holiness, I finished your statues. I think the one for the graveyard is the best. Oh, they all look great. Do, you, <laughs> do I really have such manly cheekbones? Sure. Let's put this one right here in front of the main entrance. Look, it's magnificent. We can upgrade the church to a cathedral now. Great. So, do I do that over here? Aristocrat. 65. That's expensive. 12 gold. Rightful citizen. Okay. Do I have to speak to him about that? Okay. Upgrade the... Ah, there we go. Good. It's tall enough to see the town walls. And there's also no sign of relief for the town's water shortage. Perfect. Oh, I do love my job. So you're going to need to be an aristocrat now. So you can stand with me at the great ceremony as my peer. I think we've been over this. No one <laughs> will know except for you. No, this time it's important. We need someone who is close enough to the royal court to attend our ceremony. So we're clear, right? You need to get some aristocrat papers. Also, as I said, we need someone important at our ceremony. I couldn't find anybody. Maybe you could talk to your friend Lord Inquisitor. He's not my friend. Come on, don't be shy. He likes you. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to him. Uh -huh, great. So get yourself some aristocrat papers and accepted invitation from someone important. Okay. He'll prepare his speech. Okay, so can we perform a sermon though while we're waiting for this? Otherwise, this could take a while. Okay, it looks like we can. So yeah, let's do our prayer. I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. Looks like we got some good attendance. Look at all that faith coming in. Oh, it looks like the church is even bigger now. So we have even more space for new things. Cool. Your donations are welcome. That is quite a few people. And it looks like the amount that they're donating has gone up a bit too. So that's also good. Let's see how we did. Okay, 26 visitors, 11 faith, 7 bonus faith, and then basically 15 silver almost. Very nice. Very well done, guys. Good on all of you. Alright, so while we're here, let us send 5 faith for donkey. Yep, it's a one-time thing. And then let's quickly check on our bodies down here. Oh, cutscene. You know what? I kind of like you. You're my only friend. You're my friend too. I hope you never get home. And one day you'll be a skull just like me. And then the new guy will dig us both out. 
but we'll be so much nicer sitting here together remembering our youth sounds good but i do need to get home yeah sure it's just an old skull's dream oh jerry okay what is going on over here okay you onto your next type of injection okay you already had a glue injection so up next will be a gold injection and you sir okay can't do any more on him because he's um, got no red skulls unless we can do glue yeah that'll add one white skull okay let's let those do their thing and we really need to get some sleep but before we do that let's put a bit of work into our zombie brewing and vineyard okay so that part is done that's the winery over there over here we have the brewery all right so yeah mug of beer we can set it over there okay cool and over here we can set our wine so i already know that we're going to be doing as much gold wine as possible probably gonna want hopefully we can set up a zombie on this um this press let me check again what do they what does he use oh he just straight up uses grapes to turn into wine so the wine press is not so needed okay and this one as well we just need to get more water down here and then he'll turn hops straight into beer over there okay that's good news oh donkey didn't bring us a body of course because it's pride day so that must be who said there's no faith in revolutions merchants will be delighted to see this stuff oh wow look at this bougie stuff he gave us my inventory's full let's uh let's do some clearing up first wow fancy we got jewelry nice thanks donkey i wonder can we do that again i doubt it nah can't do that he also gave us bank checks you've never seen so many <laughs> zeros unfortunately the checks are personalized <laughs> goodness all right here we have what it, we need to create these apples so let's do that did they just need one of them i hope it was just one let's see don't care where are you don't care it says plural but let's have a quick peek again i oh, know it is just one okay cool we'll send that off and then let's go home and get some sleep before heading to the tavern all right we are up and rested i just heard the bell ring meaning that donkey has been to the contraband box so let's see was that just for the quest completing or did he leave anything no he didn't leave anything but it did complete our um, quest so let's go to the tavern all right okay so herodric I heard about the last witch burning sounds like it was quite an event i think it's absolutely barbaric but who am i to judge in all days our people arrange fights to the death just for entertainment i don't support the burning for me it's just a way to sell beer people even told me that you serve better beer than i do here but i don't believe them it's actually pretty good i can bring you some hmm, okay we'll give him the the um five star beer but we also have to ask him about the statuette. Hi, lend me your statuette of the ancient god, please. Hmm, who told you about that? Do you believe in talking skulls? I even believe in talking donkeys. That statuette was forcing me to be sad. I'll be glad to be rid of it. Ask my wife, Chain, where it is. She does the cleaning. All right, okay. Miss Chain will be with you in a second. First, hello, Miss Charm. We have some news about your father. Miss Charm, you seem so lonely. Do you have a family? My dear friend, you are so kind to me. It seems like you're the only one who talks to me like I'm a person. I feel so lonely, alone in a crowd of admirers. It's my curse. My mother died. I messed up my relationships with my relatives. All my life I've been looking for a charming prince, but I'm cursed. It's not a joke. My mother told me that her necklace would help me find love, and I sold it. I may know who your father is. My father is a dishonorable, deceitful man. He left my mom, and she never got over it. He did nothing good for me. I don't care who he is. Uh-oh. I guess... I guess that's it. Hi, Miss Charm. Hi. Okay. 
Oh, about the statuette. <laughs> Hi, Herodric sent me to ask you where his statuette is. Uh, and why do I have to keep track of his stuff? Could you ask him then? No way, we haven't talked for a week. Let's talk outside. Listen, Herodric owns a ton of money, but he doesn't spend it on me. He spends it all on booze and girls. Are you sure? He went to the town with Criswold last week. And when he got back, I smelled a woman's perfume on his clothes. Anyway, I need you to find some evidence. Then you'll get the statuette. Uh-oh. Ask her Roderick about his trip to the town. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, hey Roderick, time for a little bar gossip about the trip to the town. Hey Roderick, I heard about your trip to the town last week. You got any details? Nope, it's a trade secret. It looks like my last hope is Criswold. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if we have much of a relationship with Criswold, but he doesn't really have many quests. Let's see if we can get any information out of him. Hey, Criswold, how you doing? About the trip to the town. Criswold, where did you go with Roderick last week? Back off, my work day is over. <laughs> it's time to have a nice fat steak. Why are you always so unfriendly? Look, my life is hard and boring. The damned contract. I've always thought smithing was an interesting job. Swords, spears, shields. But now I'm forced to make cowbells and spoons for Roderick's in. Hmm. How can I get him to tell me? Um, talk to him again? Your life is hard, I feel for you. Really? I don't believe it. But thank you anyway. Look, Roderick purchased a new perfume for his wife. Their wedding anniversary is coming up. It's a surprise for her. Ah. <gasps> That's what it was. Oh, all right, Miss Chen. You better feel like a silly goose. Tell her Roderick's secret. Criswell said that her Roderick bought a new perfume for you. It's a secret. That scoundrel. He doesn't like my usual perfume. I'd rather that he'd taken a mistress. Take your statuette. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. On, oh, lady. Come on, girl. Why are you gonna be like this? I think I better get out of here. Good idea. All right, let's head over to our own tavern and go give the statuette to Jerry. Yeah, I guess we just speak to Jerry about it. Yeah, give him the statuette of the ancient god. Oh, we got an alchemy recipe. And we got a new note from the contraband box. Ha, it's that man with the red eye. Hmm, and what now? Put it right there, under the screen with the buttons. Gently, gently. Okay. <laughs> Push the lever. Wrong lever, crunk. Oh my goodness. A long time ago. The ancient god created the sky, the earth, wheat whiskey, <laughs> and three priestess sisters to serve him. And he liked it so much that he created priests and legionnaires and many other people to serve him. The people were fools. They knew nothing and could make nothing. But the ancient god was generous and he gave the people homes, food, water, clothes. And after death, their souls would float across the ancient bridge and on to the land of the dead. But like all great stories, love swirled everything. Okay, it's just gonna float off into the distance for a while. Oh. Oh yes, we get to see a scene from the past. Wow. Is this the same town? Are you playing hide and seek, my red haired birdie? I am here, but I grow tired of birds and rabbits and frogs. Looks like Miss Chain. Oh, I get it. You want to be my kitty? Grr. <laughs> kitty? Hori dear. You know what I mean. Oh, it's a Roderick and Miss Chain. Well, yes. Just tell me which animal you prefer, and I'll... Oh my god, do you not know that I'm a priestess of the ancient god? Yes, I know. And he chooses a destiny for each of us. 
of course, and he chose me to serve him. So it's all for nothing. We can never be together. Uh, but my dear Chain, I entirely disagree with... Shh, someone's here. Uh-oh. The last sub-item. We can... No, Herodric, we can't. My sisters and I, we can see the future. And I saw no future for us. Well, that means you're not looking closely enough. We'll be together, I swear it. Hori, wait. Even the ancient god won't stop me. Mmm, drama. Yay, it works. Amazing. Woo. Look at the date. That was 210 years ago. Oh my god. God, her Roderick and Miss Chain got a secret. How could we have seen her Roderick and Chain there? Yeah, they must be a little older than they look. Maybe they use cosmetics and live a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> By the way, you can watch scenes more than once. Let's go on. So, the next one is an ancient wine flask, and Adam owns it. Or the farmer's son. Old Miller. Now it's just static. You'll need to check all the people I mentioned. Well, what should I do with the statuette? Keep it under my pillow? Why not? We'll build a special case for your tavern and put it in there. Ooh. Lots of people go crazy for ancient junk. Some might even pay to view it. Graveyard keeper, garden keeper, tavern keeper, and now museum keeper. Can we... What happens if we open it? Ah, wow. That is cool. So many artifacts. That's exciting. I really like that. Okay. Let us pop this in here and what can we build down here box rack okay and the beer that we put in here it does get served it still says 10 actually oh that is that's also a box rack okay cool oh and then we've got like a fancy kitchen here oh i like this you can just like skip the cutting step it just automatically makes them very nice. I can think of a few things to cook here. We have a lot of... Mm, okay, but not here at home. We have a lot of honey and this blue fillet fish. So we should do that. Okay, let's see what we need to bring here for a tavern. Eight plank, eight nails. And for the cabinet with artifacts, we need 18 planks, 36 nails, and eight beams. That is a big undertaking, but I think we we'll manage that soon enough let me just take note of what we need all right well for this we're gonna need a lot of planks so let's set some planks to be made and we'll move this dude over here all right we are awake and refreshed and so up next is the merchant so i'll show you guys what we've been doing so we have a zombie porter down here he's waiting for more cargo to come down but at the moment we don't have any new crates while I was doing some, you know, off-camera off grinding, um, we did sell quite a lot of crates. Oh, we even have, we do have some here to be sold today. So, let's see, over here. Wow, okay, we did damn good. The zombies were working hard. 46 crates, 7 gold. Damn. Oh, so we just picked that up now. So now, I think we might have enough gold to become an aristocrat. I hope so. I forget how much it was, but I know it was a lot. Um, yes, we have more goods that'll get sold today, and we have all of our pallets, so there's nothing new for us to do here just yet. But now, ah, the merchant is already here, so I think we have a few things to talk to him about. So, three fame, our company has become well known. Great, now I can, now I see why the baker gave me a free pie this morning. People are starting to talk about our product's high quality. Too bad we can't sell more than 10 crates per week, darn license and restrictions. But the better fame we have, the better price I can get. Soon we'll be able to think about expanding our product line. You know, the town does not live by bread alone. Okay, cool. The sales have been made. Seven crates. Great. Now we have a decent share of the market. This is the perfect foothold for our plan. But we still need to secure the support of the Royal Council. I think I know a way we can get the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll share the plan with you. Now we can finally ask him about the dinner. So how was dinner? The dinner was magnificent. We gained some support from the Royal Council. 
I think I know a way to gain the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll be glad to share my plan with you. Okay, about the final plan. So does anything else stand between you and the job? I think we've done everything you've wanted. Almost. The head of the Royal Council isn't a member of the Gourmet Club, but he has a weakness. What weakness? Miss Charms. Charms, if you know what I mean. We could just ask him, what do you mean? Sometimes she gives him private concerts. <laughs> Sorry, still don't get it. Well, he's rather fond of her little melody, so to speak, you know? <laughs> so Miss Charm is the only person who can talk him into supporting me. And you're the kind of guy who could possibly get along with her. And there is a simple yet elegant plan. Get Miss Charm's support. Any specific instructions? Not really. I've always chosen a good dinner over the company of a woman. Haha. <laughs> Just tell me when you've gotten her on our side. All right then. While we're here, I want to grab some more silk for the benches um, in the church so we can finish upgrading those because there are two more that still need to be upgraded. All right, let's head on home and keep working on stuff for the tavern. Okay, so the steward was making planks for us before, right? So up next, dude, could you make us some wood beams? And then we're also going to need nails, quite a bit of nails, there's no harm making a lot seeing as um, the, what you call it, the crates also require um, a lot of nails and flitch. Let's put this stray log over here and something else we need to keep checking is the beehive. Oh, I forgot. We should have used candles in our last ceremony because I have been trying to make some candles, but beeswax is quite difficult to come by. But we've started our own little, what's it called, like an apiary, you know, getting um, stuff for our, um, our own little beehive place kind of thing. Oh, that, okay, that honey's just going to have to sit there. So, yeah, we have four beehives so far. Um, they can be harvested once a day. So even though I don't have space in my inventory, I'm still going to harvest them. And we can come by and pick up the goods later. Alright, so I can see we did get some bees for making a new beehive. And we also got beeswax for candles. So that is good. It's a very valuable um, recipe ingredient. Let's go home. and I'm quickly going to try to sort out this inventory a bit. Alright, my inventory is a bit cleaner. And it looks like both these bodies are ready to be moved over onto the autopsy tables for the final changes and then we can plop these in the ground and we'll have two more graves to decorate oh and we have a new note from Zedonkes let's see what it says use donkeys of all countries unite the ichapod very liked your aphorisms very much thanks for the body but don't care so we decided to adopt them as the constitution of the coming worldwide donkeys surrealistic republic after consuming the faith every day donkeys became greatly inspired and in believing that all donkeys are equal we have had to remind them with our hooves that some donkeys are more equal than others thus you have passed the second stage of earning the approval of the ecopter Keep going. We need donkey combat equipment in the contraband box. Your task is to assemble and deliver battle horseshoes and iron unicorn horns and a magic pumpkin too. Once one we can exchange for the luxurious carriage of the royal veterinarian. At midnight his carriage will turn back into a pumpkin and our master will look like a fool in front of the royal court. Let's cross our tails. Mm, I don't know how to make donkey gear or how to enchant pumpkins, though I do know people who can. Criswold and Clotho. Alright. <laughs> On to the next task. That sounds like a fun one. I'm excited about the unicorns. Okay, let's check out this body. Eh, this one could be a zombie. Okay, let's go dig these graves and get these dudes in the ground. Oh, so I'm just having a look at this body. And this is the body that we got from um, the, the Skull Tavern. This is one that fell out of the little spaceship thing. And I see it already has some alterations onto it. This one has two brains for some reason and also has no fat and no blood. So this is already at the highest it can be, which is still not bad. It's eight. That's not bad for like how we're doing right now. So I'm still going to bury this body. I know that the maximum amount of white skulls you can get for a body is 12. And that requires like a bit of 
witchcraft <laughs> essentially it's a quite a complicated process so i'm not too i'm not too worried right now about you know spending time putting bodies in the ground that are eight or you know not like maximum potential because this is going to be a long process and these bodies are good enough for now we can still get these to the max it's got no red skulls and we can get it to the the max that i can do right now which is seven seven wreath things um per grave now to make some progress on the next quest we've been working on we have this book to give to snake and i really hope we're not too late hope we can get there in time to speak to him and walk away snake stand still stand still aha there we go okay so let's first let's give him the book here's the necronomicon here's your book snake i'm hardly surprised you are a man of extraordinary talents plus you're immortal life isn't fair give me the book Wow, the ritual was more complicated than I expected. Fear into the hearts, a fountain of blood, a coverage of sin. I'll never finish this ritual. I'll never get to see him. Don't give up. I also have a difficult task too. I know what you're going through. You just need to believe in yourself. Everything is in your hands. You're a dangerous and scrupulous rogue. Who else could perform this ritual if not you? You're right. I hate it when someone's right. <laughs> Can't win. But in this case, it seems I could use a little help. A favor for a favor, you know? Okay. Listen, buddy, I need your endless notebook. I notice you have an endless notebook. I need it for something very important. I need it for a ritual of my own to get back to my love. I understand you quite well, perhaps even more than you can imagine. This book is the only thing I have from my childhood. We weren't allowed to have our own possessions at the orphanage. When they pulled me from the burning house, I was gripping it in my hands. This book means a lot to me. This book's pages never end. I write down everything in this notebook, and a lot of the pages were already filled up when I started. I always wonder what all those notes are about, and how happy pe were the people who wrote them. You know what, if I succeed with my ritual, the notebook is yours. I won't need it anymore. Okay, so yeah, we <laughs> we're a ways away from that, but we'll get there. Uh, about the ritual, how can I help with the ritual? I'd like to help you, I've got a feeling <laughs> I'll need you to return the favor. Sounds reasonable to me. First of all, we need to prepare for the ritual. We need this place looking as scary as my old orphanage. This place should have my followers trembling in terror. But look who I'm talking to. Haha, <laughs> up in your church you've done some great decorating. But this one should be darker, and without all the crosses. Crosses bring back bad memories for me. Oh, and one other thing. For the ritual, we need to have a fountain of blood. Better make two, just to be sure. Okay, I'll try. Back home, we have a, ho a whole holiday for scary things. Halloween. It was good for these kind of decorations. I'll figure something out. Poor you. We'll need this place to have 20... Upside down pentagrams. Okay, so to do some decorating. And the necklace, we've got nothing new there. Alright. Let us see. So... <laughs> pumpkins okay so we need some skulls we need some <laughs> what is he gonna use the pumpkin for i'm so curious to see okay so i guess the blood fountain this is to construct the fountain then we have to add blood to it like how we add candles to a candelabra okay right this is gonna take a bit of planning to figure out how to do all that Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this part off over here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.